Hey guys! Welcome, Welcome to episode 5 <laughs> of the Fangirl Therapy Podcast. We... Oh my god! We keep on talking. We realized a second ago, as we were trying to remember our intro, and we were listening to last episode, and we realized we did in fact say the last episode was episode 5. It was not. Even though it was episode four. Because we did, like, a part one and part two of episode three. I think in episode three, part two, we said that it was episode four. Oh, did we? While we were recording it, so ignore that. It's fine. You know, it doesn't matter that much, but still. Um, So today's episode is another monthly recap. I think next month we're going to do two episodes, like one recap. And then one one other, other like, episode, yeah. And the the um December recap that we do, it might we might do a whole year, like a year interview. Ooh. Wait, wouldn't we do that? At the, oh, you're right. We might just do End a whole like a year, like a oh. 2023 recap. I like that idea. Shout out to Jasmine Zade. I because like she that idea. Does, she does those every year, so it's kind yeah, of yeah. Let us box. know if you guys. <laughs> um, let us know if you guys would like. A whole year maybe instead of just December I feel like we should do that I think that's a cool idea yeah because if it's just a December recap that's kind of like, like Christmas lame. music Christmas music Christmas music Christmas music yeah and that's like pretty much it yeah so you can do a whole year because we also didn't do any recaps like over the summer over or the anything. summer and, and this was a huge tour year yeah it was okay yeah let's do that um so today is Tuesday November 28th we're nearing the end of November even though I thought it was like November 15th but it's the 28th oh I, I thought it said 26 for a second yeah so it's November 28th end of November and we're gonna do a recap of some of the events I mean you guys know how this works the recaps but we just want to talk about some events that we that happened this month and mm-hmm. yeah so starting off the new Hunger Games movie came out well did it come out this month I think yeah. it came out at the beginning of this month I haven't seen it yet but I really want to Hopefully it's still in theaters when I go see it. Um, but Olivia Rodrigo made a song for the new Hunger Games soundtrack, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes is what the movie's called. Mm-hmm. And again, I really want to go see it. But she made a song for the soundtrack called Can't Catch Me Now. Or is it You Can't Catch Me Now? Can't Catch Me Now. Sorry. Um, and it's really, really good. I'm actually like surprised because normally when popular artists make songs for soundtracks they're like low-key mid but i think there's the a hunger of... games always has good music like of of popular singers like taylor yeah lord olivia and then there were a lot of other artists that made songs for um the ballad of songbirds the, mm, <laughs> the ballad of sorry i got just got done talking a lot um, the ballad of s- song, you know, that movie. Um, yeah, so she wasn't the only one, but that was, like, the most notable to me just because I love that song. It's so, like, ethereal and, like, kind of eerie, and it just matches the vibe so, so well. So, yeah, that was the first thing that we want to talk about. Um, second thing that I want to talk about is there, okay, well, I'm saying this even though I haven't finished listening to the album, but there's a new Brent Fias album and technically it came out in October, but it was a day after we recorded our October recap. So I'm just including it in this one, but I haven't fully listened to it. I just wanted to say that cause that's like music news and I'm very excited to listen to it. There's one song from it. I can't remember the name, but I really, really like it. So yeah. Um, moving on to extremely important matters. Breaking news. <laughs> Breaking news, people. Harry Styles has shaved his head. And there is a oh lot God. of differing opinions, um, a lot of hot takes that people have, <laughs> including his mom um, <gasps> posting about people being, people needing to be nicer to him. Yeah, people kind of do need to be here, nicer. Here's my, here, okay, here, I'm going to tell the story and then I'm going to share my opinion. Okay. So, basically, um, after he finished Love on Tour this summer, um, he kind of like stepped away from like the public eye because like you know he had been touring and like doing all this stuff and um he had been doing so much so he needed a break and so we didn't get like any like content photos or anything from him for a while 
until I think he was in London, I want to say. And we got this photo, and his hair was really short. It wasn't, like, buzzed or anything, but, like, mm-hmm. he had obviously cut his hair, and it was really short. And it was just, like, a photo from behind. He was wearing, like, a fuzzy sweater and had his little tote bag. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, and we're like, oh, man, like, he cut his hair, whatever. But we've seen that before. And then um, the rumors started coming about that he shaved his head, like, buzz, got a buzz cut. And then we find out. That it was true because um, these, like, photos of him and Taylor Russell um, at some concert. Concert. Was it the Adele one? I I think so, yeah. Um, Yes, and people started going crazy. But technically, it wasn't, like, totally 100% him, even though it looked like him and he was with Taylor Russell. Like, we knew Yeah, it was, like, a blurry video. Yeah, it was a blurry, like, screenshot. could have been possibly edited or something like that. I don't know. But um, then Pleasing posted a photo of him in, like, one of their new sweaters. $200, by the way. Um, A little out of our price range, sadly. Sadly. Sorry, guys. Um, And that just, like, kind of, like, really confirmed it. And then, like, videos and jokes started being posted and everything. And I don't have, like, any problems with, like, the videos and jokes and stuff that, like, are harmless. But I think it was kind of getting a little bit out of control. And I think his, like... I mean, people were being a little bit mean, and so his mom decided to... To step in. Yes. As she should. Yes, as she should. She and put us in her place. Her son. Right, exactly. I'm not mad about it. Um, personally, I think nothing can make him look bad. Like, he can't... It's impossible for that man to look bad. Um, and I think that if he wanted to go and change his hair and look different, and if that makes him happy, That's good fine. for him. Who cares? I kind of like it <laughs> i mean I, I can't say i like it <laughs> I, don't, I don't dislike it no, actually I don't, I don't dislike it but i just like i like his other haircuts more i don't know i mean i would say i probably like the other ones more but i don't think it's actually like bad at all i kind of do no like it a lot. i think i think the jokes Pe- were just like, yeah i feel like people were being are... a little too extreme like too dramatic people were being a little too dramatic. yeah like it's a haircut um hair can grow back yeah hair can grow back also, I realized when I said um, about the Brent Fayez album, I never actually said what it's called. It's called Larger Than Life. I just couldn't think of it. <laughs> um, okay, so moving on. This is a big, big deal, you guys. My Roman oh Empire. Oh, my God. <laughs> I have never been the same. <laughs> I will... my Roman Empire. Okay, but, like, actually. So, yeah. So, um, Noah Khan released a song. Well, he kind of teased it for a little. And then released a song with Hozier called northern attitude well northern attitude if you've existed. ever heard of it he released well, yeah he the, released it with hosier yeah. the version with hosier um which oh my god oh my god okay yeah. um <laughs> that has been literally my favorite no con song since i ever heard it and since i've listened to his music i just love it so much and i really haven't decided whether i like the one the version with hosier more than the original i do I think I do, but at the same time, it's, like, very different, so I don't really know. I don't think it's very different. I just think it that just, it, it he It gives a, different vibes to me. He took a different, like, vocal approach mm-hmm. with his verse than Noah did. Yeah. He, but it's also because, like, he has, like, his his um, accent is very, like, defined. Like, he made yeah, it kind of more, song. like, staccato-y. Like, he pushed it forward. Like, he, he was, like, a little bit more, like, jagged mm-hmm. with, like, the way that he sung it. Yeah. Than Noah was. I love it, though. Me it's too. such an amazing song. Like, oh. um, their harmonies are like the probably the best when he harmonies. Goes, oh my god, when he goes the uh, <laughs> the really loud thing. Yeah, oh, I'm not gonna say that. Um, <laughs> that was really good, though. Thanks. Um, Thank their harmonies are probably the best harmonies I've ever heard on a studio recorded song. Ooh. Like, sorry, but it's true. T. I know it's so Hot good. <laughs> it's so good. It's like. Lit- like literally I, everything nothing oh no God. collab will ever top that besides Ooh, taylor and harry that's a no, really Ta- hot date taylor and harry are Dang. if they ever collab now that would be the greatest club of all time but right now that one is number one for wow me. and this came out on november 10th which is my brother's birthday yay shout happy out. birthday andrew <laughs> shout out um so continuing on the same vein of hosier his well i'll let meg talk about it but we want to talk about his unreal unearth tour well the continuation well, of yeah it. the continuation so of it. and you know it's already happened he he released um what the album 
Yes, Unreal on Earth. Mm-hmm. Um, my mind is blanking on in this August. For some reason, yes, in August. Um, I was gonna say that. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, he I'll released. That part out. Hosier released Unreal on Earth. Um, in August of this year, and then he, well, he had been, he had been doing like little like sample shows. I liked to call them before like his actual like um, tour tour. Yeah. Um, and so he started that this, like, in the, earlier in the, earlier in the year. Um, and I, me and Anna went, I was gonna say me, but I realized you went, <laughs> you went also went. Me went. Me went. <laughs> um, Anna and I went to see him in Nashville for this tour. And he, uh, um, he just announced that he was going to, like, do another American leg and maybe Canada too? I think he released Canada dates too. Anna's checking right now. Um, and he's coming to Charlotte, <laughs> which um, I got tickets for. <laughs> I'm going with two of my friends, and we have lawn tickets, but we're in the reserved lawn front row, so we're in, like, the middle Wait, front actually? row. Wait, actually? Yeah. I didn't know that. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, and they weren't that expensive Okay, either. I don't think it includes Canada. Okay, so just America. Yeah. With Allison Russell... Who, who he brought out oh for my our gosh show to sing Nina Shh. cried power oh my that was like top billion moment of my well cuz <laughs> he sings Nina cried power a lot oh um, my god it was so good i can't even describe how good it was but he brought Allison Russell out um at our show and oh my gosh they sang Nina cried power together as like a duet and it was seriously amazing it was so good like i was just they pour their whole like, I hearts and souls. Literally in it. died. It was so good, and I just love that song. It was amazing. She's like super talented. Um, but yeah. So, so yeah, that was really exciting. He's coming back, and I'm seeing him. Anna does not have tickets. I don't have tickets, but, um, but I do. I mean, so. I kind of rarely. I don't think I've ever seen one artist twice. Wait, have I? I don't know. Taylor? No. No. I don't think I've ever seen one artist twice. I have Louis. Oh yeah, true. <laughs> and now I'm seeing like back twice, back. and I'm seeing Niall twice. Um, but yeah, that's very exciting new things. Um, another very, very exciting new thing is I don't even know how to like report on this, I guess, because there's not even anything to talk about. But Frank Ocean sort of is teasing new music. I don't really know what's going on, but he's active on his Instagram, which is, I mean, not active on his Instagram, but he's like posting random stories, and he posted, I think, a story, right, like, we're looking at a story right now. He 11 posted minutes ago. 11 minutes ago, and then he posted 20 minutes ago and 17 minutes ago. Just, like, random pictures on his story. And then a couple weeks ago, I want to say, he posted, I think, a screenshot of, like, a voice note or something, which I know it seems, like, stupid, but... No, that's not stupid. It's not, because he's, like, not active. He has zero posts on Instagram. So, that's really exciting, and hopefully he releases some music soon. I mean, I don't even know if that's going to happen, but he's also, I feel like, being seen out more. Like, there's more activity. He's, he's becoming, he's easing his way and yeah. becoming extremely relevant just in time for it to, like, I mean, he's always been relevant, but, like, but I, mean, I feel he's, like he's, the he's putting himself out into the public eye a little bit more recently, and I feel like that's, like, yeah, like, because you can't just drop it out of nowhere. Like you can't announce that. But you that's like exactly what you would do. Oh. I feel like he's the type of artist who like just kind of does things randomly. Well, I mean, not randomly as in there's no like thinking to it. But I feel like he's not as focused on like the PR standpoint, at least from like my no, that makes idea sense. of it. I don't know a lot but about him. So. I do know what you mean. I feel like he, just the fact that he seems more active a little bit, a little bit means that maybe something is going on or maybe it's not but i really hope so oh and today earlier today wait guys like tell me wait i need to look up this real quick um he posted something about this like i want to say it was like uh i didn't actually follow the account he posted something about this account that's like a tea shop i want to say maybe i'm making that up um and I was really confused. I don't know what it is, but it was just like, like, I don't know how to describe it. It was kind of like a, but like it was like how hair, what random. Harry, I don't know if it's what like Harry did with your home. I don't know if it's like his 
tea shop or I maybe it wasn't a tea shop maybe it was like something else yeah anyways I thought I would say that but it doesn't really make sense unless you actually saw the story but now it's gone so yeah I don't know what's going on there. Twitter girlies, go check but, Twitter. I'm sure. Yeah, maybe you. something's going on there, which could be really exciting. Hey guys, okay, so future Meg here. Um, this is a couple of days later on December first, but basically what Anna was talking about here is um he opened a like a boba shop in LA. So that is the like context behind what Anna was talking about. Okay, next thing we want to talk about is one year of faith in the future. Um. Faith in the Future came out last November. I love that album. And um, it's crazy that's already a year old. And also, Louis recently sold out the O2 for two nights. Oh, my god! Which is so crazy. exciting and so crazy. And, yeah, I'm just, like, I'm so happy for him. So, a little side note about Louis. That's really exciting. Um, Next up, because it's November, obviously, Mariah Carey, Michael Buble, all of the Christmas people have defrosted completely. Yay. Um, it is Christmas music season, and, And yeah, I'm so excited. Me, too. Even though I'm not a huge Christmas music girl, I don't know about you, but I am, but at the same time, sometimes I'm not in the mood. But I feel like I'm getting into the mood, because, like, after, like, before Thanksgiving, I was, like, Christmas music Christmas. doesn't hit until after Thanksgiving, but yes. Christmas decorations sure. do hit before mm. Thanksgiving. Hot take. Yeah, ish, but, like. Right after Halloween, I was so upset. I was like, I love Halloween. Halloween's, like, probably my favorite holiday. I just love you it. You said that in the last week. I know. I, I just love Halloween so much. So fun. Um, so, yeah, the next piece of news that we have is about... Well, I'll let Meg... I'll let Meg introduce this topic. Okay, so, um, Niles... The, Niall has an album called The Show, and he released the show The Encore, and basically... Which it is, just, like, a deluxe version, yes, kind of? Yes, it's... Okay. Yeah, it's a deluxe version, and um it just had so he has been doing some festivals recently and so it has um a couple a couple like rec- uh not records um a couple tracks from that so like if you leave me slash everybody wants to know the world um that he's saying wait as in festival. tears for beers yes he covers that song every omg i saw really them live good. i saw them live i saw tears but for his beers cover live. of it that he sings at when he performs mm-hmm. is really good really? like he has I, no he would sound he has good with that, that like 80s that, like i was gonna say look. like he yes. just like has it yeah um he it also has you could start a cult featuring lizzie mcalbine or with lizzie mcalbine doesn't say featuring I love um the show with john legend which i didn't really love honestly um, Heaven Live from Electric Picnic. Oh, Heaven is such a good song. I Wait, know. that's the one that's like, God only knows yeah. it. Oh, I love that song. Um, so. Meltdown Stripped, so it's more like acoustic. Um, Save My Life Live from Electric Picnic, On a Night Like Tonight Live. This one isn't from, the On a Night Like Tonight isn't from a festival. It's like a, it's like a, he went into like a studio, not like a studio, it's not a studio recording because it's live, but it's like, it's just him. Like, he's not, it's, there's no audience. Yeah. Um, Science Live from Spotify Studios. That's pretty straightforward. Something in the Orange, also live. What? From, yeah, and it's really good. No, I need to listen to it. It's really oh good. Gosh. Go listen to it, everyone, Um, once you're done That's actually listening cool. to this, I, I didn't know he, like, even sang that song. Oh, yeah. He, yeah, he covered it for the first time, That's um, cool. like, right after the show came out, I want to say, yeah. um, this summer. That's cool. Or, like, he he did it for, like, PR and stuff, and, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's all for Niall. Um, okay, last thing we want to talk about. Well, it's past Black Friday now, but there well, was... Black Friday was, like, just a couple of days ago, if you think about it. It's like You're right. Today's ago. Tuesday. So, there, there might giving be Tuesday. some... Is that a thing? Yeah. Giving Tuesday, where you donate to It's charities. Giving Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that a thing? Giving Tuesday? Yes. <laughs> what do you do? You donate It's, like, Tuesday. Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Giving Tuesday. What do you, you donate do to, do? like, charities and stuff. It's really? It's like a data, yeah. I, I didn't mean, know that was a thing. That's cool. I don't partake. <laughs> I'm going to well, cut that up. Give. I didn't Tuesday. know that and was give a thing. All, yeah, give to us. I'm I give back to my community. I'm a volunteer. Yeah, we're giving back to the community right now. <laughs> yes, right now, and I also actively volunteer yeah. in my community. It's giving it's Tuesday. Giving, <laughs> t- it's, the vibes are just giving, giving Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> it's giving Tuesday. Yeah, so apparently it's Giving Tuesday, which I didn't know that was a thing, but maybe I'll give today. 
Um, so, yesterday was Cyber Monday, so there are probably still some sales going on right now. I think there are some going on right now. Yeah, for sure. But there were a lot of merch, specifically merch, Black Friday sales. Or, like, artists, like, founded companies, like, Yeah, 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 yeah. And the only one I really looked into was, I saw on, I think, Taylor Nation. Yeah. Something about, like, 80%, I want to say it was, it wasn't 90. It was was 80. 80. 80% off merch and I was like whoa I gotta get on that now the 80% off was only on a few things and it was kind of just like the ugly like, old stuff yeah like you know that one lover t-shirt that has like the rainbow letters on it it mm-hmm. says like awesome yeah and it's I so ugly like, it's not cute I know mm-hmm. it's ugly but like I kind of like it a little bit <laughs> I was hoping it would be like whole store 80% but it wasn't it was only a few things no and um same with like um like Louis did, Louis did um actually forty percent off. I want to say on of, everything or what? No, it was select things. And here's the thing: it was all of his old merch. Oh. So here's here's my opinions on Black Friday sales for merch or like any sales. Honestly, I think they're kind of pointless. I mean, not pointless. I understand why why they From exist. From a business standpoint, yeah. Yeah. Um, but basically, it's just to trick you into buying old things in my opinion. Like, it's just, they're just getting rid of it because it's yeah. sitting in a warehouse. They're not actually, like, some of the stuff they're, like, bringing back and they're like, oh, for a limited time you can get this mm-hmm. old merch and it's, yeah. and it's 20% off, but it's, like, yeah. it, it's just tricking you into buying it. Yeah, because they, well, yeah, obviously, because it's like, okay, well, this album isn't as relevant now that he has new stuff. Yeah. So, or no like buying it. Or, like, random, like, lo- like, lover t-shirts or, like, the rep phone case that was like an oh iphone gosh. 8 <laughs> <laughs> there was so much random stuff and stuff that i feel like i'd never seen her merch store before maybe it was just me and like i don't look too deep into it but i feel like well, it's I, probably old merch that is, hasn't but, been on her website since um, that album came out okay because I, I, I could be wrong in my head i was like well all old merch would at least be in the album shop that it matches up with but i don't think but it I don't is know, i don't yeah i don't know I think if they just put true. the best of the best yeah so that was interesting um, um, also there's like, like pleasing did 20% off. I'm sorry. 20% off is like sorry. nothing. Yeah, no, that's, that's nothing. like, cause all their stuff is so expensive. So their, perf- the new perfume is $135 and I did this yesterday. It was, it was, um, wait, let me do it really fast so I don't get the number wrong, but I want to say it was like 30 bucks off or like not even like, so 135 times 0.2. Yeah. $27 off. That's good, though. But it's but it's not if you think about it. Like, if I'm spending a because you have to like if I'm spending a hundred bucks for a perfume. I mean, just because bucks, it's on sale for twenty percent. Yeah, off, true. I mean, a hundred bucks for a perfume. It's saving me twenty seven dollars. That's not that much if you think about crazy, it. Crazy, but at the same time, that's like average price. Well, for like a, like for a perfume, I feel like that's okay cheap. For, like, a nice perfume, no, not for, like, a... But, like, it's... But I don't it's know. still too expensive, obviously. I don't know. I feel like we should make a whole video on no. pleasing. I feel like I have a lot of hot take stuff. Yeah. I have been seeing so many Black Friday sales, like, 15% off the whole website. I'm like, why would I even spend my time or like going on Google off? and searching up your website? There's no reason for me to do that. 10% off? Like, off that's, crazy. like, the discount you get when you put your email in to join the email list. Like, that's not Black <laughs> Friday. Um, yeah. That, that's kind of off topic, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, because, like, what even is that? It's just weird. Yeah, but for the most part, that's all we have for you guys today. Yeah, kind of short. Kind of, not like a lame month. It just, like, went by so fast. Yeah, Lots I did. of holidays, Veterans Day, Thanksgiving. I hope you guys had an amazing Thanksgiving, by the yeah, way. Yeah, I'm so thankful for our... How many? 68. 68 downloads 68? in total. Yeah! So, <laughs> that was very exciting. We were looking at our analytics before this. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, we hope you guys had an amazing Thanksgiving. And if we don't post, well, we'll probably post an episode before Christmas, right? Or the holidays. Mm, it might be. Yeah, well, I, yeah, I think probably before the holidays and then one at, like, the beginning of January. Yeah. For our little yearly recap. Yeah, because the yearly recap will probably be a, towards a longer end side of the video. It'll take a little bit more planning. But we hope you guys had an amazing Thanksgiving mm-hmm. with your and family. If we, well, if, we if you're in the U.S. Yeah. If we forgot, or Canada. Do they celebrate Thanksgiving um, I think. I don't they know. because that was like the pilgrims came to America. 
No, but don't they? Cause like I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. If you're Canadian, let us know. Let us know. DM us what you celebrate. Um. Anyways. Also, if we forgot anything about November, um, don't hold a grudge. Yeah, don't hold a grudge. <laughs> um. Yeah, but we hope you guys have very happy holidays, <laughs> even though we're gonna be on here before the holidays. But whatever holiday well, if you celebrate, like you Hanukkah, celebrate, happy Hanukkah, because Hanukkah will... Is that going to start before we... Yeah, probably. Oh, okay. Well, happy holidays, whatever holiday you celebrate. And we will see you guys later. Bye. Bye.